Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I am your host, Eric Schulmer, and today starts cocktail fight night. I built the schedule. But, okay. It's actually it's actually one of the software, like mm -hmm. a Vizio style software to mm -hmm. design networks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Works great for this. Nice. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two by two knockout elimination. Yeah. Week two. That's yeah. next week. So yeah. all week we're doing cocktails that require Adam Elmagarib's bitters. Okay. Each one, not all of them at once, because mm -hmm. that would be a rainbow of flavors that mm -hmm. nobody can handle. We'll try it. Right. And <laughs> line them up. <laughs> Challenge accepted. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is battle through this contest we put out a couple months ago. We got 15 submissions, so we're going to battle through. The winner is going to get 20% or whatever I said. I got to go back and look uh, on awesomedrinks.com. You can also buy all these on awesomedrinks.com, and that's our merchandising for today. Uh, before we started. Yeah. Uh, where is my stirrer? Before yeah. we started what? The show. Yeah. I want to talk about the clap. I was not gonna talk about the clap, but okay. we can if you'd like. No. Um, I want two ounces of grapefruit juice. I just didn't know how far back you were going. Oh. Oh, All you right. mean so? You're gonna. Which one are you doing? I'm not doing anything. I'm, this oh. is before we start. I oh. need some ice. Because, you know, here's the problem with grapefruit. Oh, there's a piece of ice. Yeah. The problem with grapefruit is, in my house, it do, you don't go through it fast enough. Yeah. So we're going to do shots of grapefruit juice to start it off. Rating. You want to know why I'm stirring it? Yeah. <laughs> because we're going to do them in shot glasses made of ice. Okay. And if you don't stir them, yeah. what happens is what? The, the shot glass reacts to the temperature change, yeah. and you know how ice cracks under temperature changes? Yes. Sometimes it can be an unfortunate business. Yeah. So we're gonna avoid that by icing it first. Okay. And then, well that's not gonna work. <laughs> and then we'll start it up. And this, and this will ring in our, our contest because we're gonna do shots of, of non-alcoholic drinks because we're about to make two cocktails a day for six day, five days, right? And, and you love cranberry, uh, uh, grapefruit juice. Let's see, these are our new, I got these ice molds. They're really cool. Yeah. I was gonna make them out of orange juice. Okay. So ready? Yeah. Prost. <laughs> oh yeah. Woo, I'm ready to go. Now we can do this. Isn't that awesome? Me. Hey. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All right. Today we're creating two recipes. We're ready to go. We've cleansed our palate. You feel it now getting right about here? And on the tip of the tongue too, right? Yeah. Yes. So the Spanish Bee by Kyle Wood versus the Sarita cocktail. We're gonna use uh, uh we're gonna put them both in coupe glasses. Cause fancy. Yeah. yeah. This is really it. Yeah. It's, it's fancy. Dude. And even yeah. And so this one here, which will be the one you're going to make, the Sarita you know cocktail. What? You should have brought up two shakers. Then you could make one and Doug could make one. Didn't you have? Wow. They're stirred. Yeah, and I actually have two shakers. But we won't. We don't need a shake. These are going to be, oh, that is a shake and strain. You're going to be shaking and straining. Okay. So here, you, use the, you can use the mason shaker. Okay. That thing's epic. And I will stir the Spanish bees, one and a half ounces of citrus rum, one ounce of Baron Jaeger, a quarter ounce of Spanish bitters, Garnish with a lemon peel. I've got lemons, I've got limes, I've got oranges. They're everywhere. Dude, it's like we got everything. Um, you're going to make two ounces of white rum, an ounce of triple sec, a dash of Spanish bitters. Look, they both have Spanish bitters. Well, wow, awesome. And a splash of black sharp. I, I did some aligning to try okay. and get them, but I was actually going more for the rum base as mm. the, the competitive advantage, and okay. I realized they both have Spanish bitters. Oh. Maybe Spanish bitters and rum go good together. Excuse me, we're gonna find out. So you're gonna have a splash of black strap on the top. I think that's gonna make it good. You have an or orange wheel garnish too. I'll garnish that. I can't garnish that up. Hey Jennifer, do you think you could get me a knife downstairs? All the way Please. down there. All the way. Awesome. I, I need to make an orange. All the way down the stairs. I need to make an orange wheel. All the way down the out stairs. Of this. This is gonna be the biggest orange wheel ever. Mm. It won't even fit in the glass. Wow. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, citrus rum. That's where I get to start with the citrus rum. Yep. We got and and on top of which, 
each one of these recipes was designed by uh, my restrictions so they're not too intense on the total ingredients. They don't get crazy. They just get right up in the hizzy where it gets busy <laughs> in your face. <laughs> I don't know. What to <laughs> really? <laughs> busy, hizzy in your face? I got a week off. I haven't hizzy, learned busy? to I haven't I haven't learned oh, to right. restrict myself yet. Okay. I don't think that you need to I needed to pull back on that. I just one. need to I got way too white. Keep <laughs> <laughs> Even I caught on, and I was like, let's just go with it. We're already there. <laughs> Whatever. It, it happens. Uh, in this okay. one. Well, help a brother out and <laughs> give me some ice. <laughs> Yo! I can, I, can, I can get right up in there. Yeah, check this out. You putting down what I'm picking up? <laughs> Is good? No, yeah, I did put down what you were picking up. No, but that isn't good enough ice. No, that's great. <laughs> it's funny. All right, I just want to. What are you looking for? Where can I help you? Oh, you want these? Yeah. You're gonna need a dash of Spanish bitters. Okay. Yeah. You can probably do two. If oh, there you go. Um, I, on the other hand, need a quarter of an ounce of Spanish bitters. Oh, thank you. Um, I'll cut you a. I'll cut you a wheel right now. That you are going to love. You're going to be all into this. That's a very nice looking wheel. Thank you. Don't put really. <laughs> what? That's where it's going to. Oh, yeah, I don't really know what to do now. But in the end, there's supposed to be a wheel on it. Our oranges are a little big, so we could probably cut it in half. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, uh, we can worry about that later. Uh, and I'm going to stir mine. So the Spanish bitters, what are we going to get out of these? I'm you know, I said a splash of black strap, and I thought that I was going to add the splash at the end. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I, I would, personally. I think it would look better that way. Yeah, me too. You too. We should probably chill them next time, huh? Oh, I, I guess you don't really have to, but I probably did. Yeah, one of the crisscross guys died. One of the crisscross guys died? Yeah. He couldn't have been, like, any younger or older than us. Right? Chamomile, citrus peel, some root. I don't know. I just heard it on the radio and someone mentioned it in chat. I'm like, oh yeah, I heard that. Really? <laughs> just that he had, they said, we're going to play jump because crisscross, one of the crisscross members passed away. It was Daddy oh, Mac. Daddy Mac? They Daddy had Mac. names? Yeah. Huh. Daddy Mac. <laughs> crisscross will make you jump, jump. Daddy Mac will make you jump, jump. I thought he just said that because it was a good time. Garnished with lemon peel. Oh man, I should have put my oh, drink right there. Oh, that was awesome. Oh yeah, that that that's that's got presentation written all over it. Yep. Presentation. Yep. Oh. Done. Yours looks great too. It's very uh. Maybe it's the coupe. Yeah, the coupe makes everything sexy. Well, that and actually this. It's Thirty-four. Well, uh. Thirty-four. It's younger than I am. I just I don't know. if... We just needed to... What? Felipe and Kyle? Yeah. Gentlemen, Felipe, Kyle. Y'all did well. Yes. Presentation oh, is... Really? I like that golden color. You're right. That is pretty... Oh, you, you need the sexinator. Yeah. You need to bring the this on. Sexinator. You need to really amp it. Those both yeah. look pretty cool. Why don't, Why don't you, you want quarter do? that and then... You don't, you don't want the whole thing? No, just give me a... I like to get obnoxious. Well, you can... Speedballs. Hey, that was really cool. Yeah, I like it. Me too. You're the official garnisher, and you know what? The the it's floating on top. I know. Like it's not even slowly sinking. I know. In. And look at like the little thingies, like the the little wispy clouds. Dude, wispy clouds. I like it. So yeah. now we got to both do a taste test. We're going to be the judges to figure out which one of these two is the better a better deal. Right. Right. Okay. So I'll taste this one first. You stuck on the mat. Aroma-wise, it's got that citrus because it's on the top, but it's also got a, a little um, honey. I get a honey out of this one. That one you're going to get a black strap. I would think. Well, I got the citrus and a little bit of the black strap. 
this thing really highlights some of these flavors. Wow, the bitters come right through. That is so good. Chamomile. Mm. Uh, there's some different roots in here. I almost get, there's a little hint of black. The black strap comes in at the end. Do you get any? Overall nice citrusy profile. Ooh, that's really good. Here, did you? I, I have not. I got it. Okay. And then and then next week when they battle, we have to make another, the winner again. Oh. Well, wow. good for us. <laughs> I don't think we'll have any really bad no. cocktails. This one is um, a little more intense. Mm. I like the honey. Is. It's funny how it is. Intense And this heat. is the the lemon. Yeah. The lemon with the. I wonder if it's the honey. The and honey the sweetness sweetening. allows you to use as much bitters as as what was in here. Yeah, because that that's the, that was my fear is that this had. Where my Spanish just went. This has a lot of Spanish bitters. Like, mm. I'd say maybe on the order of seven or eight dashes to get to the one quarter ounce yeah. rank. But which one's better? You know, we have to do that all week and know. And, I know. And figure out which has the... I, I mean, I think overall, my personal opinion is the presentation on that one was really kick-ass. Yeah. Um, they both have that one that that Spanish bitter property mm -hmm. in common, and they both come out, mm -hmm. which is nice. Mm -hmm. What if what if you pick one and I pick the other? Oh crap! We can't do that. We'll have a tiebreaker with one. I can come up with it. Um, we'll pull. We, we can pull Jennifer in too. This is a little more. You're gonna pick this one because this has a little bit more of a sour component, and this one has a little bit more of chock full punch in the face. See, I, I was gonna pick that one, but I think that this one is not necessarily sour. It's it's the sweetness that, that and that's a little more crisp. And I, I like that one. This one? Yeah. Jennifer, come on over, cause I, I'm I'm thinking <laughs> I'm thinking that one. Here you could you could taste from across the room. Just tell tell us what you think of that. You're our official tiebreaker because we need it's like triforce no yeah try force there you go you're the quadril quad quadrilateral triangle is that a word no no damn what do you think of that that's pretty good pretty good pretty good's good what do you think of that there has to be a winner whoa you can smell that yeah so we'll get a winner. It's gonna happen because she has to pick one of the two. Ooh. Oh, this is a lot sweeter. Because it's got the sweetness from that honey. Mm -hmm. Like it's definitely that draws out the sweetness. So if you're for those that don't care about a winner but they would rather make a cocktail, yeah. Tasting wise, I think that one. I like that one better. This one. Mm -hmm. Done. Um, <laughs> who's this? Is uh, Kyle's out. Sorry, Kyle. Wow, normally I like Kyle. Your cocktail, your cocktail. So you, really, did you really, not really like good. it, or it's just not? I don't necessarily you like, like the honey with the flavor. So the honey bothered you a little Maybe bit. Maybe the honey. The honey continues. It gets actually continues to grow on yeah. me. I think what happens is I start to get used to the rum. It's almost gonna happen. Um, but we're gonna have a lot of these. In a little right. Bit. Um, I think you get you get used to the rum, and then you start getting that. That honey comes out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. This one, I overall the presentation is really cool, mm -hmm. and the flavors are a little bit more dynamic for some reason. Mm -hmm. um, so the Sarita cocktail wins round one. Spanish B, good cocktail, which all of these have to go in your list of things that you need to try. Good job, Felipe. And at the end of the day, by having the Spanish bitters, you can bake mold. Mm -hmm. As long as you can get the, I mean, none of these ingredients are out of the mm -hmm. out of the craziness. Mm -hmm. I like it. Do we have a question of the day? No. Really? really? Question of the day. What's your favorite bitter brand? What? I don't know. Scrappies. There's Scrappies. There's Adams. There's uh, Feed Brothers. <laughs> What's your favorite Scooby Doo character? There's Scrappy Doo. There's or there's uh, uh, Bitterman's. There's. Why am I not thinking of Angostura? Angostura! Mm -hmm. Question of the day, Regans. do you like Doug's fluffy beard? Question two, do you like his fluffy beard? Because he can put garnishes in there and you won't find them for weeks until they start to, <laughs> if, unless they have a milk component, and then you find them. 
Oh. <laughs> All over time. <laughs> wash. Wash it every day. Yeah, it, like it really gets washed. Down. Do you use like a Brillo pad? It, does not wash. it is a Brillo pad. <laughs> <laughs> I get all stuck in there, you have Brillo pads all over your face. <laughs> or the best adjective for Doug's beard. Yeah, or come up with the best adjective for Doug's beard. An adjective is something that describes the noun. <laughs> Now that it is his beard. I don't I think that's how it actually right. is defined. Um next uh, round two, we move on to the next two contenders, and next episode we're gonna talk about how we're gonna give away our Tito's shaker, and we have some runner-up prizes too. So that's it. Nice! We're teaching you how to drink.